I had a cold and I couldn't get rid of it. And then I uh, was running out of breath when I was walking, like just from my car to my, where I work. First they thought I had pneumonia and they took a chest x-ray and that was clear. So then she took some blood test and she says, it's gonna be a while, you know, in small town hospital. Before we get the results, you can just go home and we'll call you tomorrow. Well, before I was home, she was calling me and telling me that something's wrong with my blood and I need to get to the hospital. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. I met Lori about uh, six months ago when she was newly diagnosed with standard risk multiple myeloma that however presented with uh, some high risk features involving hyperviscosity uh, which is a situation when your blood is thick and can cause symptoms and problems in the body uh, mainly stemming from the excess amount of protein that is myeloma generated. What this trial involves is generation of a fusion product between patients' tumor myeloma cells and patients' dendritic cells in a fashion that generates this combined uh, immune treatment that we then reinfuse into patients and hope that will result in generation of immune specific anti-myeloma cells in their system that will uh, lead the fight against the myeloma in the short and the long-term period. It's important to mention that immune therapy has really been at the forefront of new uh, ways that we treat cancer over the last 10 to 20 years. Uh, multiple myeloma is no different. So it is no surprise that we would be uh, interested in developing the immune type treatments that can benefit our patients. By participating in this type of clinical trial, which is testing this personalized immune therapy in myeloma patients, we hope to push the boundaries forward. Uh, we hope that uh, more patients in our region will have the chance and privilege to participate in this type of novel research and that ultimately these efforts will be successful and beneficial for them. I feel really good, you know, today. And it's like three months since my stem cell, so I feel very good, yeah. I consider this to be a very successful response so far. I would probably put her at an A minus A. It's a great place here. I would definitely tell people to come here. Dr. Bolshevik, he's wonderful. <laughs> I really like him, and my kids both like him too, so. And everybody that helped, I mean, the coordinators, everybody. Very compassionate. Take every day, you know, as you can. I mean, tell everybody that you, I wasn't always a person to do that hug and tell everybody that you love them because you never, you don't know. I'm hoping after the first of the year, I'm gonna try and go back to work. You know, and I have a granddaughter, and hopefully I have another daughter that's married, so hopefully I get some more grandchildren and spend some time with them. So, uh, yeah, let's just keep living. <laughs>